so happy Friday everyone. It's a fun day, first install since all the travel ban going on. Joe and I are going up to Ann Arbor to install an L350 with a CDK14 and it should be pretty fun. So we just got to the client's house. We're in Ann Arbor, Michigan. And he's got a roll-off roof observatory here. And we're gonna put the pier, we made that offset plate. We're gonna put that offset down here on the pier. And we're gonna bring that in first. South is facing this way. North is facing this way. And that offset is gonna make sure everything is centered up within this roll-off. But it's awesome being back in the field after the travel. Alright, Joe is removing the central hub of the wedge right now, and then we will remove the six perimeter bolts and that'll let us just separate the face of the wedge from the main base plate and it'll allow us to keep this top plate on as well instead of just removing everything so it'll save some time. Alright, so Joe just took the main face of the wedge off. He's taking the bottom plate off now and then we'll attach that bottom plate onto the offset pier that we have inside the dome. Okay, so we have the wedge attached now. All the bolts have been secured and we're gonna bring in the L350 and you're gonna have the shoulder bolt here and that's gonna make sure that it recesses and is held and then we'll put the six bolts to secure the 350 base onto the pier. Okay, so Joe just put in the shoulder bolt here on the base of the L350 and this is going to go onto the face of the wedge and it just helps you secure it while you tighten the bolts. We have the telescope on the mount now. Both axes are locked, declination is locked, right ascension is locked, make sure nothing's moving around. And Joe is gonna get the IRF-90 rotating focuser attached to the CDK-14. Okay, Joe's putting on the EFA kit. We're gonna make sure everything balances first and we'll make sure it's long enough to route to the cables here on the rotating focuser itself, which it definitely will be. Okay, we're gonna check the declination balance first now that we have the EFA kit attached and Joe is holding the optical tube while we do this. So it's front heavy right now, so we're gonna loosen the dovetail and slide the optical tube back just a little bit. Okay, we're fine tuning balance right now. We have the accessories on the optical tube, that's step one. Step two was sliding declination in the telescope tubes themselves to make sure that balances. Step three, we're gonna balance the right ascension. And with the L350, we have some threadable weights to go on the toe of the mount that we're gonna stack and get as close to balance as we can. You can also put them on the heel, which is the backside of the mount if necessary. Okay, since we're putting a refractor on the outside of the L350, 
We're gonna make sure that we take the shoulder bolt position that is underneath, that's on the fork arm, and we're gonna shift it to the very far position before we get on to attaching all the telescopes. So that'll make sure everything balances well. All right, Joe's already working on removing the six bolts from underneath the base that's gonna separate the fork from the actual azimuth. We've removed the electronic cables as well because those need to be separated before removing the two halves. All right, we have the six bolts holding the fork arm separated from the azimuth. We're gonna loosen now the two pieces. So all you have to do is you slide forward because it's on a shoulder bolt. So we're just rested well in this position. And then we're gonna set this down on the ground. Okay, so this is where the position was first down where Joe's at. It was on the second from, I guess third from the top. And now we're gonna put it to the very bottom hole there. This one's already in the very bottom that we just moved. It was three from the bottom. And this is the heel of the mount. So now the position is furthest from the toe. The toe being right here. Shoulder bolts closest to the heel. And we're gonna put it back up into the positions here and that'll make sure that they seat safely all right so we have the system installed and balanced so joe is going to move the system in both ra and deck and when we say balanced before doing the motor tuning essentially you can move the system with one hand and it's not going to violently move to any other position and from there we can continue on with connecting to the actual computer once we're balanced now. Okay, so Joe is running the USB from the L350 mount and it's gonna go down through the central hub and out the back of the wedge. And we'll plug that into an Icron Ranger, which we're using to connect to the PC. So we just connected to the mount. We have all of our cables managed temporarily to make sure we can connect to everything, which is great. Now we're gonna connect in PWI4 and run our auto tuning software to tune the direct drive motors. Okay, we're running through the motor tuning right now. It's doing the auto tuner program. You're gonna hear some noise like it's singing in the background as we speak. That's totally normal. It's just running through and optimizing the motor parameters. So all we're doing right now is wrapping up some of the cables and making sure nothing catches when the system moves around. And we like using zip ties for these just because it makes everything clean and prevent cords from wrapping. And we made sure everything is strained relief enough that there's no severely tight cables, but everything is still secured and tight and not gonna move around when the system slews. It must be nice you went and got a penthouse on your friends. Money in this real loud. With a brand new chest Still a baby bird fries Straight off the nest like you Well, nothing beats a little bit of tailgate insulation food We got some tacos from Ann Arbor Looks pretty sweet So we'll feast and then we're going to polar line them out But it's going to be a nice clear night thankfully it was raining all morning, so we're definitely happy about the weather. <laughs> all right, we just got back from dinner. What we're gonna do now is turn the mount on, connect in PWI4, home the mount, build a pointing model, and then we're going to polar line the wedge. All right, so we're here at the wedge now, ready to make our mechanical adjustments to azimuth first. We need to rotate it three degrees counterclockwise, standing from behind the mount. So this is the southern side, 
left to me is north. So facing behind the mount, we're gonna rotate counterclockwise, which means we need to tighten this bolt. And that's gonna push the system counterclockwise. So we need to loosen all of these bolts, six of them, just gently. About a quarter turn is enough, those six bolts. And then we will use the wrench here to tighten. And then what we're doing also is we have TeamViewer on the phone and we're gonna be watching so the computer in the warm room will show us Spica coming into the frame and we'll be able to get close. We're at the Hercules cluster right now and that's what we did in a single 30 second photo. So what we're going to do is we're going to wrap up, shut everything down, clean everything up, and close the dome. All right, we had a fun install. It was probably one of the closest ones we'll do from the shop in Ann Arbor. And we're all wrapped up, and we're going to make the drive back, about 45, 50 minute drive back. Luckily, the weather held out. It started raining on the way in, but we had clear skies for the rest of the afternoon. Perfect opportunity to build a pointing model and pull or align the system and show the client how to use the software. All in all, fun, successful installation. Again, brought to you by Plane Wave. <laughs> See you guys, thanks for watching.